Okay, hello guys. So this is the Realme 3, and this video I will show you how to do bypass unlock put order. Okay, so maybe you already seen my first video using flash tools, and this is the second version. We are not going use the SP flash tool, but instead we are going to bypass the unlock put order and fix the fast boot. Okay so the first problem is i cannot do the unlock put order using the official ways using the apk it's always reboot when in the fast boot mode and show the error message okay <clears throat> so i will show you the process before and after so you will get a better view about it okay so all the process all the file and step i will provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay if you have any questions feel free to ask on the comment section if i have time i will try to answer it okay when it finishes the unlock put order become permanently and you can flash mages on the stock rom and also flash custom rom if you want it okay okay so stay tuned and check it out <laughs> Okay, hello guys, Assalamualaikum, we meet again with Ombob, and now in my hand I have the Realme 3. Okay, so in this video I will show you how to do bypass unlock bootloader and also enable the fastboot CA. Yeah. But first thing I need to show you is the exciting system and the trouble we have, okay. Okay, so first thing to do, let's go to the settings. I just want to show you the setting system about PAN, Realme 3, really my UI version 1, Android 10, version <coughs> build number C22. Okay, so I have enabled the developer options and also enabled the OM unlock in here. Okay and i also already installed the in-depth test start applying and re review successfully yeah so usually in this step you will not have any problem to uh do the unlock put order but instead we have a problem <laughs> okay i'll show you let's hit the in-depth test and usually it should put it into the fast boot and we can do the unlock boot order from there <coughs> but you will see there is a error message right here and the pawn will automatically restart so basically i cannot do the unlock boot order right here because there is some strange error message so cannot to the official ways okay <laughs> okay that's all i already show you this exciting system and the problem so uh next i will show you the <coughs> solution for the problem okay so the solution for this problem or bypass ubl version 2 okay <laughs> I already made a video before how to root without unlock put order and this is uh, version 2 okay uh, first thing you need to do of course you have the ADB and Facebook setup for your environment and then install Python okay install as usual install the USBDK <coughs> of course I don't want to install it because I already have in my system. And <coughs> next, the MTK client. This is a zip file. All you need to do is extract the file to a folder, and you will get something like this. Okay. And next, you need to set up the environment. Okay. 
setup is quite simple just right click on the folder on powershell and <coughs> run this command of course you need internet connection for this because it will download several file okay uh <coughs> should, uh sorry this command of course i already have all the files so <laughs> i don't need it again okay it really takes about 15 minutes just wait until it finishes okay we're done to set up the environment and the next step <coughs> let's open the in-depth test again now here apply to exit because we don't want to use it okay and let's turn off the pawn next step <coughs> we need to bypass the ubl the unlock bootloader <coughs> okay next step we need to uh, tools i usually use for my other tutorial the mtk gsm sultan just open it is it is a very small file uh, apps and goes to the ubl <coughs> checklist right here and hit execute yeah it will show you to initiate and all you need to do just press volume up volume down and then plug your usb cable okay let's try it Okay, now the process is already done, so it's uh, completed. And next, for the next step, we need to fix the fastboot. Okay, this is required because uh, your real pawn won't uh, boot it into Android if we don't we don't fix the fastboot. Okay, first thing to do, we need to have the L key. Uh, key dot pin okay i already have a file in here let's copy the file and put it into your mtk client folder right here and paste it okay and open your powershell again powershell where you have your uh, uh folder mtk client <clears throat> then run this command just copy and paste basically it will replace the facebook okay hit enter it will start initiate and like before uh you need to press follow up follow down and then plug the hp cable okay let's try it Okay, we can see it here. Now it's uh, right successfully. Okay, let's close this one. And <clears throat> now let's try to put it into the fastboot mode. If I'm not mistaken, uh, fastboot mode can be accessed by pressing the volume down and the power button at the same time. Let's try it. Uh, here we go. Now we are in the fast boot boot. <laughs> uh, but still I want to see the bootloader status in the Android so let's force reboot the pawn again. Let's check the bootloader status in there. Uh, we can force reboot by pressing the full up and power if I'm not mistaken. So now we are in the home screen again. Let's go to the settings and additional settings, developer option, and I want to check the bootloader status. Uh, okay, here we go. You can see right here now the OM unlock 
is turned on and become gray it means that we have successfully do the unlock with other okay and next step let's try to flash the custom recovery from the fast boot boot power it off and boot it into the fast boot mode okay now let's uh check the fast boot status okay like usual fast boot device this is our serial number and let's try to flash the custom recovery Okay, let's just copy and paste and we're going to use the orange fox okay sending writing successfully and let's put it into recovery okay and if it failed to boot it you can always boot it manually okay uh, if fast bit mode volume down custom recovery if i'm not mistaken volume up don't, don't forget <laughs> and here we go <clears throat> now we are in the custom recovery okay now uh seems the internal storage is really encrypted but uh let's try to flash menus okay let's navigate to micro sd i already have micro sd in my pawn go to a folder and let's try to install the latest mages okay i'm using the mages alpha and of course you need to always pick up the efs and modem and the original boot image if needed okay update partition detail done let's reboot system and let's check <coughs> when it boots into the home screen okay when it is boot it will see this orange state message you can always ignore it okay this is the result of the unlock boot loader so eventually i successfully installed magis yeah you can see right here i'm using the old version i don't know why but the latest one doesn't work on this one okay yeah i'm using this version the version 25102 okay and of course you can always install custom rom using this method because this is a permanent permanent unlock bootloader okay now let's try open the empty manager with asking for permission and here we go we have our access right here okay that's all guys <clears throat> i hope it helps you if you need the file and step i'll provide in my blog you can check the link in the description box okay uh, i hope it helps you and if you want to support me you can check the paypal in the link description okay take care see you in the next video wassalamualaikum